Now that you've clicked on this quote nothing video, that's exactly what you are looking at. Nothing. A pool of darkness, devoid of substance with absolutely no movement. This is intentional. Don't restart your smart device. You are literally staring at what you should be doing at this point, which is simply nothing. Again, nothing. This part of the manifestation process is so easy, it becomes hard for the majority of you. Well, fret not. I've made this video to make this part of the creation process easy for you. You should have no questions after listening to this message. In Rhonda Burns' The Secret, she explained to manifest you needed to ask, believe, receive. But she left out the last step which I discovered over a decade ago. It's called surrender. Not surrendering in the way that you're giving up or kicking rocks, walking away, frustrated or relinquishing responsibility to something. I mean surrender in the way of what many call letting go, or what our great teacher Neville Goddard calls dropping it. Each of these terms, surrender, letting go, or dropping it, effectively mean the exact same thing in the creative process. I personally like calling it, as did Neville Goddard, doing nothing. Neville says, quote, The question is often asked, what should be done between the assumption of the wish fulfilled and its realization? Nothing. It is a delusion that, other than assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled, you can do anything to aid the realization of your desire. You think that you can do something, you want to do something, but actually, you can do nothing. The illusion of the free will to do is but ignorance of the law of assumption upon which all action is based. Everything happens automatically. All that befalls you, all that is done by you, happens. End quote. So, now that you've gone to the real world of wonderful human imagination, which is God, and you've seen in first-person perspective and also experienced your desire, the next step is to literally, absolutely, unequivocally, positively do nothing. There are no questions to be asked. Do nothing. Do not make this hard. Do nothing. Again, call it what you want. Surrender, letting go, or dropping it, but simply do nothing. Now if you're like me, and like to take creation to the ultimate utmost nth degree, you may want to practice and use the God Speak technique, which is foretelling to others your creation as true prior to the 3D shadow world delivering it to you. Or maybe the scripting technique, which is drafting a physical document that implies you are now, or have now, what the version of your I am self would be, do, or have, once your creation has been fulfilled, or whatever other techniques you're comfortable with exacting. After the God speak or scripting, do nothing. Now, allow me to admonish you. Techniques are only, I repeat, only additions to your imaginal acts. Meaning, your own wonderful human imagination is the main event, whereas techniques are only the opening acts. Techniques are welcomed, but by no means required. Remember that. I also want to make this point. I take Neville at his word so much so, I have no desire to ask any further questions. I got it. I think this is why I became a YouTube content creator. I found myself being more of a teacher of the law of assumption, than a student of the law. I would explain to a selected few people who Neville was and how his teachings were different than the watered-down teachings of the Law of Attraction. This is where you guys should strive to be. I re-listen to Neville's lectures for enjoyment, not because I have this never-ending laundry list of questions. I'm proud to say I am a valedictorian graduate of Neville Goddard's teachings, as all of you should aspire to be. Don't keep repeating and questioning the lessons. For God's sake, people, it's time to graduate. I'll say it one last time. Stop asking questions. Apply the teachings. Then execute the creative process. After which, you do nothing. The end.